Hello guys, welcome to this new video. My name is Eric Patterson. Today I will show you how to install or integrate, not install, but how to integrate Slack with Jenkins, such a way that Jenkins can go ahead and send build notification uh, to Slack. The first thing that we, we have to do here will be to install the plugin. After installing the plugin, we are going to configure that plugin. And to configure that plugin, we will require to do some configuration as well on Slack, which will allow us to get a token that will be actually big in Jenkins so that uh, we can go ahead and get that magic done. So without any further delay, let's jump into what is at stake. So this, this slide that I'm talking about. So we go ahead into our Jenkins. The first thing that we need to do is to check if the, the Slack plugin has been installed already. And to check if the Slack plugin has been installed, we just have to go to Manage Jenkins. We can go to System. And other system, we can search for Slack. It return red, meaning that Slack has not been installed into this Jenkins server. So we can go ahead and install Slack. We go back to Manage Jenkins. Now we go to, to Plugging. And under plugin, as you guys can see, if I go to install plugin, I type Slack. We are not going to see anything because Slack is not being installed. So I will go to available, then I will search for Slack and install it. So here, Slack notification, as you can see here, integrate Jenkins with Slack. So that's the plugin that we want. So we go ahead and install it. We go ahead and install that plugin. And once it's installed, we will go ahead and configure it. So Slack has been installed. To verify if Slack has been installed, we do the same thing that we did earlier. We can go home by clicking here, and then we go to Manage Jenkins. Then we go to System. Now, if, if I type Slack, we see that a Slack portion came here. Now, we need to configure Jenkins with Slack. The first thing that we need to do, we are done with uh, uh, installing the plugin. The plugin is here. We just need to configure it. So. We go ahead and open Slack, open Slack here. And in our Slack console, what we need to do is this is the DevOps Easy Learning, DevOps Easy Learning Slack in our Slack console. We need to go ahead and click here and it will bring out this. And one thing also that we need to, what we need to do is actually go to administration, manage app. It's going to open a web page for us. Then we can search here. You can type here Jenkins. We we'll bring this Jenkins CI, which is what you want. Open here. Then what you need to do is to add Jenkins. Now we have to select the channel where we want our Jenkins uh, to be. That's just a default channel. Doesn't mean that uh, everything will be input in this channel, but this is just something to start with. So. I will choose here, there's a channel there called development alert. So I will go ahead and pick the development alert channel. And what I'm going to do is that um, I'm going to add that channel. So it will give us a step-by-step -step what needs to be done here. So if you see here, step number one, it's basically uh, uh, what we did already. Step number two, it, was, it is asking us to install the plugin. So we need this token, uh, for example, and we need this team domain. So basically, if, as you guys, if I return to Jenkins, you see here it says uh, workspace. Actually, the workspace that is talking about is this DevOps Easy Learning, this team subdomain. So we need to take that, supply into Jenkins. And if you don't know what this means, you can definitely click here and it will give you more information. Now, I will leave this for now. If we go to the default channel, so we can pick. Here we, we chose, for example, the development uh, alert channel. So I don't know if that they put that channel here, this channel here that we pick. So we can copy this channel here. It's development hyphen alert. We can type it. So it's going to be make sure that the name is the same. And if you don't know, you can still click here. Then it will tell you what to do now. The next, the second thing that we need to do is to create a token, right? We we'll go ahead and create a token so we can go here. Then we we'll say add Jenkins. We we'll open this. Then that need to be a secret text, right? That need to be a secret text. So we click that secret text here. Um, and this is the token that's given to you. This token here. 
which if you come down, if you go up here, it's gonna be it's gonna be the same token that's been given to you. So you can copy that token. You go back here, you supply it to Jenkins, and you can give an ID, Slack, a description. You can also call it Slack. That's all that is needed. We add it. Once it's added, if you click on the drop down menu, you will be able to see this. The Sonaki is the plug, the previous one that we did. So we, we select Slack here. Now, so we have when I, we went ahead and we put the workspace, we put the credential, and we put uh, the channel here. We can test the connection. The connection has been successful. And if you guys come here, Slack plugin, you are all set. If you see here, we have 18.222. This is actually the IP address, which match the IP address uh, of, of, of my, my Jenkins. So if I click here, for example, it's gonna open, uh, it's gonna open Jenkins uh, for me. So that has been configured already. The test has been successful and that's all that is needed to integrate Jenkins with Slack. It was a pleasure having you guys around and see you guys later.